Konnichiwa, Tinjon des, and welcome to this video. What is this? Is that an iPad cable? Oh, I'm charging my iPad, but whatever. We're not talking about iPads today. We are talking about my other video, like the Love Esquire for Android. My first impressions of it. Yeah. But we're not talking about that specific version, but the Love Esquire in general. So, let's dive in. So, Love Esquire, what is it? It's a visual novel game, also an RPG and a dating simulator. Because that's the description of Love Esquire on their Steam store. Yeah. So, actually, the developer of this is a fellow Filipino! Hi there! Magaling kayo! You made my visual novel experience very nice. Maganda ang laro nyo. Real talk. Because, kasi, it's interesting. Why is it interesting? And I played, yeah, I played the PC version and also, the mod. If you know what I mean. So they have a Steam version and itch.io version and also the Android version. So so here's the tip. If you want the mod that I'm talking about here, download or buy the Steam version because and subscribe to one of one of the one of the workshop thingamajig. I don't know what the technical term is that on Steam, but yeah, um get that if you want that but <laughs> but we're talking about love esquire in pcs so again uh it's a very good game uh it's nice and also the system requirements does not is that is does not too high or whatever i can't make up words today so what I'm saying is the system requirements are decent uh, for a visual novel because uh, the system requirements of this game is a Core 2 Duo and an NVIDIA GTX 260. I'm not even joking. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even joking. The system requirements of this game is a Core 2 Duo and a GTX 260 are equivalent. So, if you have at least that requirements, even though it's very, very old, you could play this game. You could buy and play this game. But I don't know. Um, Core 2 Duo? Core 2 Duo is not practical anymore. We have Intel Core Series 10th Gen and uh, Ryzen a series of processors from AMD and yeah um, whatever and also it needs only five gigabytes of available space luckily I have two storage solutions SSD and HDD yeah I just say that that you can play this game on a small capacity hard drive or SSD if you want faster load times, then play it on SSD, whatever, because SSD is fast. But we're not talking about um, about system requirements of this game, but that is one of the good, good aspects of the game itself, the system requirements. But let's go to the graphics itself. So, if you can see the pictures on the Steam store, well, you are, uh, what you see is what you get. There you go. Uh, what? There you go. That's the word. What you see on the Steam store page is what you get in the game. And it's nice. 
especially if you have the mod that I'm talking about. But yeah, <laughs> I can't show it here on YouTube. <laughs> So we have here the steam here. Oh, I can show that. <laughs> no. Demonetize. No, I'm not even I'm not even a even even this video is not monetized because re in reality I'm not monetized at all. I'm just doing YouTube for fun, but I was monetized before, but Due to some reasons, I got out of the partner program. Um, yeah, but <laughs> I can't show that. I can't show that. <laughs> it's too suggestive, you know. <laughs> or maybe I can show that, but whatever. So maybe just a fraction of a second. So, uh, this game is on version 1.2.4. So, I'm gonna, look at, I'm gonna look at this. Um, you know, um, so, what is this? Uh, what is this game? About, about, in the about section of, of this game is Love Escar is a romantic comedy visual novel uh, dating scene with a touch of old school RPG combat just like you could see you could see here uh, turn-based combat so uh, uh, okay uh, in this game you're not a famous knight but a good for nothing squire who oh, who's on a quest to find man's greatest flesh <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I know getting the girl won't be easy though, since most of uh, them are way out of your league. So race those stats, battle monsters, and unleash your full potential. So, uh, you have five dateable waifus, including your stepsister. Yeah, I said that right. <laughs> five dateable waifus, uh, love escorts heroines, are just are not just pretty faces each they each have their own unique ambitions backstories plots and dirty little secrets for you to uncover so uh the girls are beatrice Dusay, kamala copperheart emily bowden giselle renew and bell sharf actually my best girl here is bell sharf or veil, if you will. Yep. So we have turn-based combat. You may not be a decent squire, but you have a number of unconventional techniques to keep your leading knight alive. Taunt, cheer, heal, and loot your way into victory. And by the way, there is also a classic, a classic RPG term, which is Final Fantasy VII. Turn. Or I don't know if other other Final Fantasies have this, but I know Final Fantasy 7 have this. Limit break! Okay, limit break! <laughs> yeah, there is a limit break on this game. Yeah. So you wanna uh, I will show you the RPG elements later on. So um uh raise stats get good get good <laughs> and became the ideal man of, by increasing your strength charisma and intelligence these traits not only affect your combat abilities but also your relationships and we have here forged relationships amp up your squirely charm by giving gifts and whispering sweet nothings to your waifu <laughs> Get those romance points high enough and they'll open up in more ways than one. Here we go. Multiple endings. 
What's waiting for your squad at the end of the journey? Get laid or dying a lonely bird? Be careful with your choices because this one is a visual novel and a visual novel has mostly has multiple endings or should I say non-linear gameplay and also fully voice yep fully voice I hear your waifus fully express their dying love for you yay and also you know what I mean mature <laughs> <laughs> Mature content. Love Escar is a bit naughty and contains themes that your parents warned you about as a kid. <laughs> we won't last five minutes playing this game. I'm out. <laughs> but real talk, this is a good game. I'm just I'm so overwhelmed with that statement so I just walk out and breathe a little bit Whew. so that is the description of love Square to you and let's play a bit of it if you will okay now we're talking about love Esquire <laughs> no 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 we're playing love Esquire right now but should I say show you something go to options <laughs> mods there that's that's the freaking mod that I'm talking about yeah okay um let's go again to the last save that I have this is a new game plus so I so it means that I already played this game. Yeah, I already. <sighs> Would you like to read the tutorial for NG Plus? Well, nah, I already read that. And we have here the calendar. Yeah. Actually, I, I'm not even celebrating those birthday. And I must. Reset. I must reset relationship for Kamala because you know what I mean. I got a friendship ending instead. God damn it. So this is the game itself. Um, here's Amy. you're here and I had a heart red heart means that I got a romantic ending and I will not again I will not show you what is the another side of this game because we will be reported I don't want to be reported but you already know bro glad you're here you already know what is that? And let's go to the RPG elements of this game. So this is the another gameplay element of Love the Square, should I say. And that is RPG. You up for an adventure? Let's go. Right on! Let's go kick some ass! Let's kick some ass. Yeah. So... Um, um level 9 because I already finished the campaign by myself okay what now let's cheer you wow oof 
Keep it coming, kiddo. Wow. Okay. Okay. I just adjusted the volume because you know. Uh, let's loot. Eighteen. Eighteen again. Twenty. Uh, let's loot. You're not controlling Hugh. You're controlling the squire. You got the goods, kiddo? Yeah. And uh, let's taunt. <laughs> nice doggy. Good doggy. Don't show him any fear, kiddo. Leave it break, my ass. Uh, let's reserve the limit break for final battle. Uh, let's heal you. Okay. And let's taunt. <laughs> What's with that taunt, man? What the hell? Okay, uh, I'll taunt again. Get damn it. Twenty. There. There you go. A boss fight. I'll go easy on you. Okay, and leave it break. Let's go with final, <laughs> final climax. <laughs> right. Do it for the cute girls. Survive this attack. Who the hell do you think I am? Wasn't even a hundred percent. Stage nine clear, and and of course you gotta you got three hundred eighty six gold and three hundred eighty six gold ob obtained, and that's the RPG elements to you. So here's a. Uh, here are the places that you can go. Castle, plus a barracks, home, archives, tavern, infirmary, and outskirts. And here's Princess Beatrice. I appreciate your presence. And also I got a heart. Red heart. You know. And I and Let's go home. Let's go home and sleep. Silpe. Let's go silpe. Okay. I'm just using a mouse. If you can see there. To navigate. There's no WASD here in this game. And that's okay because this is only a visual novel. And let's rest and save, and then overwrite that save. And I'm gonna show you what the three other girls that you can date. So... So we have here, um... We have here... We have here Vel. Oh. Hey Vel. Are you okay? I've 
been better. You miss her, huh? Yeah. When I left home this morning, I brought her helmet with me. Don't know why I did. Force of habit, I guess? I still catch myself just talking to her, waiting for a reply. It really is just an empty helmet now. I hold her hand. I'm here for you, Vel. Th thanks. Let's... let's talk about something. Maybe it'll help keep my mind off of all of this. Sorry for spoiling you. Sorry for spoiling you, but the context of that is No, I'm not gonna I'm not going to say it, but it's a very long story, so you could just play the game. And this is Vel. Um, um Yeah, let's talk about I I guess Roman. Hey! I've got another one! Alright, let's hear it. I once saw a guy who could slash a tree in half with one swing of his sword. I thought that was pretty hot. Though, if I remember correctly, that guy was some sort of bandit leader. Hmm. Oof. Yeah. I met him back when I was just starting out as Sir Grand. Oh, now that I think about it, I might have killed him. What the hell? Yeah, too bad. He was kind of cute. Cute ones always gotta be criminals. Do you agree? The cute ones always gotta be criminals? Let me know in the comments below. And we have Giselle here. Hey Giselle. Oh, I'm sorry, another spoiler. Are you feeling better? I... I guess so. Well, if there's anything I can do, just tell me. We can talk about other things. Sure. I like that. Hi! Hi! Sorry, I just got off for a bit, but yeah. So, are you your... okay. Are you your critical... Well, that's... You're pretty cool. Okay, that's the voice. Hey, thanks! Seems like you're in a good mood today. Dr. Cecilia. She says I should try to be more friendly. The other day, you said compliments help. So, I'm starting with you. Oh, so I guess I'm stuck as your test subject again, huh? Yes. Well, Giselle? Just keep it on with the compliments. Tell me I look really good. Or, 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 tell me I'm the best squire in the kingdom. Nice. Nice. One compliment per day. Hey, what happened to being friendly? <laughs> okay, uh... And the last girl that I'm going to show you for today, or for this recording of this video, is... What is it, Squire? Come, speak your mind. And that is Princess Kamala. How strange. When I first came here, the shopping district felt so exciting. Shopping in a foreign land, buying trinkets and textiles which I've never seen before. Yeah, you looked so happy back then. Yes, though now, I believe the initial excitement of something new has faded. The strange has become familiar. I suppose that's how it always goes. However, though the mystique of the market has vanished with time, <laughs> there are things which I have experienced here, which have only grown with time. What do you mean? Yeah. A friendship with you, of course. I'd say the same. So I got a pink heart, so I got a friend zone ending. <laughs> so, that's the best card to you. I'm gonna return home just to save my game. <laughs> So this is 
the whole game itself. Let's rest and save. Okay. Let's see on the other cap on the other side. No, no, no. I'm not gonna show you that mod, but yeah, uh, you could play that for yourself. Okay. <laughs> so that is love escort to you, and. Again, it's a pretty good game, and you could buy it for, uh, I don't know what is the price of this game. Let me check real quick. I could sing a trillion petaflops of my love for you. Uh, yeah. So, the current price on of the game on Steam is 549 pesos and 95 centavos. That is Philippine Peso, and yeah, that's it. Um, you could uh, convert that 549.95 pesos to your currency and a currency and converter, eh? or you could check it on your or on your local Steam store. For example, if you're in US, then check in your US Steam store. Then I don't know. Okay, just just check it, and that is. This game is worth to buy, I mean. Um, so, um, it's me. Thank you for your kindness. And it's Tin John I wish 06. Could hands so I could See you on the next one. And if you want to play that mod that I'm talking about, just subscribe to that workshop that I showed to you the name earlier on this video. Well, goodbye. <laughs>